The other day, we compared the DeAndre Hopkins situation to a girl in school who nobody's interested in. Nobody's giving her the time of day. Nobody's checking for anything. But all of a sudden, one guy's like, huh, you know what? She is kind of pretty. I'm going to try to talk to her. So he started talking to her. He shows interest in her. Then other guys see that. And they like, you know, wait a minute. Wait, wait. She is kind of pretty. You know what? I want to try to talk to her, too. So... Nobody was watching her, nobody was checking for her, nobody was interested in her, but all of a sudden one guy, he showed interest, and then that made a lot of people do the same thing too. It's the same exact thing with DeAndre Hopkins. This is exactly what we expected to happen. It's exactly what we talked about a couple days ago when it was announced that DeAndre Hopkins was going to be visiting with the Tennessee Titans. Nobody was showing interest in DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, at least nobody is showing public interest in DeAndre Hopkins. Nobody was showing real interest. They may be interested in him, but they wasn't showing it because um, nobody was having him, bringing him in for a visit or anything like that. But now uh, when the Titans, they set up that visit, it was announced that he was going to be going to Tennessee to go visit with them. Now, coincidentally, I, I think not, uh, but the Patriots. Now they are going to be uh, hosting DeAndre Hopkins on a visit. And let's read the report straight from Ian Rappaport. He said, uh, former Arizona Cardinals wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins is set to visit the Patriots next week, sources say. Uh, this is after his Titans visit as Hopkins' free agent market heats up. That's what we were talking about. Uh, New England could add a top pass catcher for Mac Jones. And, yeah, that would be nice for Mac Jones. That would be a, a nice little upgrade for Mac Jones, getting a nice uh, shorthanded wide receiver. I mean, for any quarterback, it's always nice to have shorthanded wide receivers. Um, but DeAndre Hopkins is exactly that. Uh, but and, and Ian Rappaport also added, a DeAndre Hopkins visit to the Patriots makes sense for a lot of reasons. Here's one. Uh, he played for now Pat's offensive coordinator, Bill O'Brien, to start his career in Houston. Uh, and was an all-pro three times in his offense. A reunion would be fascinating. Now, um, that makes sense. That that makes a whole lot of sense, especially with DeAndre Hopkins being a little bit older. When you're older in the work for, workforce or work field or whatnot, um, and you especially when you're working with a lot of younger people, a lot of younger people work in your field, you work in a very competitive field. Uh, as an older person, you are going to want to look for advantages that you can have over the younger people. Uh, you're going to look for any leg up that you can have over them because why? They're your competition. That's who you're going up against. And you do not want to lose your job to a young person. So you got to look for anything that you have over them and you're going to want to go to somewhere where you're familiar, uh, a setting that you're familiar with. Um, because you not only want to keep your job, uh, you want job security and you want to excel at your job. And it's the same way with football players. And I think especially it, it happens with younger ones, too, but definitely with players that are a little bit older. Uh, when you're older and you're a free agent, you're out, and I mean, I don't mean to talk about DeAndre Hopkins like he's this super old player, anything like that. Um, but when you're a little bit older uh, and you, you get a taste of free agency uh, and it's, it's getting late. It's getting late. I mean, it's not July yet, but it's, it's, stuff is moving, man. Um, but you, especially if, if maybe, maybe you may not really want to do much of training camp, even if you do or you don't. You want to go somewhere that you know. You want to go somewhere that you, well, you maybe you know the system. Uh, you may know the coaching staff, and it's the same way in the workforce. You want to go somewhere. Hey, if you know a manager there that you may have worked with in the past or something like that, and y'all had good chemistry, you like, oh yeah, oh you a manager over here now? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, put me on, man. Here, I'm, I'm gonna give you my resume. Send it to your hiring manager. Put 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 me on. So we we don't all been there before. Uh, so it with DeAndre Hopkins to the Patriots, um, him having a visit with them, it, yeah. Like Ian Rappaport said, it does make a lot of sense. But at the same time, I still think it's just a business move, calculated business move at that. Um, like we mentioned earlier, DeAndre Hopkins, he's been a free agent for a little while now. Been a free agent for a little while, and um, ain't nothing been happening. Nobody's been showing real interest. They may be having, they may be interested in him a little bit, but they ain't been showing real and real. Real interest would be, hey, DeAndre Hopkins, come out here, come take a physical. Let's let's see what you got. But nobody's been doing that. And hey, who knows? Maybe I could be wrong. Maybe it may have been DeAndre Hopkins just waiting till he was in a position where he could take visits. Hey, that that could be the case. But 
now that uh, the first team showed real interest, uh, that being the Titans, now the Patriots are too. Uh, and I think what DeAndre Hopkins could be doing, which would make a lot of sense, he could be showing other teams that he may really be interested in. Because if, if his list and whatnot of, of wants from a team is true, if it is accurate, then... Yeah, uh, this would be him using those teams, using the Titans, using the Patriots to be like, All right, I'm willing to go on visits with them, but real teams. Hey, you, you see, you see me, you see me. I'm out here, baby. Let's talk soon, hopefully. Um, but that could be him going on those visits with those teams, the, those lesser teams and whatnot, to try to show the the upper teams or the better teams that hey, come get me. I'm ready. I'm ready to make something happen. I'm ready to make moves because it's business, man. It's business. Um, one of my guys in the comments section, he brought it up the other day. And he was like, oh, DeAndre Hopkins said he wants to win. But he going on a visit with the Titans? He's like, oh, yeah, it's all about money. And, I mean, if, if it is all about money, which, I mean, it, that is part of it. That's a big part of it, which I am at it. Like, because it's like DeAndre Hopkins. I feel like now with him, um, he's never going to get paid. He's still going to make a significant amount of money. But he's never going to get paid as much as he once did before. Um, and again, that's not uh, necessarily a bad thing because he got paid a lot of money before. He's still going to get a good, a good amount of money now, but I feel like now his contracts are only going to get less, become less. Um, and again, making less than what he made before is still a lot of money. Still can make a lot of money, but I just feel like it won't be the same as it once was, if you get me. So we'll see what happens with DeAndre Hopkins, man. Um, Still can play, obviously. Still can ball, obviously. Uh, still gonna be he's gonna be a good wide receiver for wherever he goes. Uh, but he, I feel like wherever he goes, it ain't gonna be no role player type of thing. <laughs> like you, you ain't bringing in no D Hop to be no role player, man. Like, nah, he ain't at that point in his career. So if you bring in D Hop, like that got to be your guy. Like, that got to be one of your, your top guys um, because, again, he's an established guy. Uh, he's And he's been like that, still is like that. So, I don't think he's going to want to take a back seat. So, that's something that whoever's going to bring in DeAndre Hopkins, you got to think about that. And I, I think the Patriots are in a good position to bring in DeAndre Hopkins. So who, who are you going to take a back seat to? He ain't take a back seat to nobody there. But at the same time, um, with Bill Belichick, uh, he is a, he's not really a numbers guy. He is a very, a guy who's very, very big on, obviously big on the team. Um, but he's not really into all the individual stuff. I mean, you, you can get it there, here and there, but as far as all the individual stuff, no. Nah. nah, he, he ain't gonna tolerate that. And again, like people always talk about who played for the Patriots. They say it's not fun there. The, the winning is great. Well, it was, um, but they said it's just not fun. It's just different. Even though, you know what? I take it back because our guy, um, Matt Judon, Matt Judon, actually, he did recently say sometime last year, he said that it is fun playing in New England, but at the same time, they ain't been winning like they used to win before, so maybe that's why it's fun now because they ain't winning as much, man, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with this whole DeAndre Hopkins thing, man. Um it's fun. It's fun watching, being on DeAndre Hopkins' watch and, and seeing where he's going to end up going. But anyway, team keep it clean. I love y'all. I, I appreciate y'all so much, more, more than you know. I, I really, really, really do. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss no videos, no updates on anything that goes on, whether it's with the Ravens or not. I mean, you used to love with the Ravens, but I really do love y'all. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you for being who y'all are and how y'all are. I appreciate you, and we out.
And Grave will lock you up, we playing football okay. I'm a fanatic, you see we got the magic And yeah, my boy's a savage, an open challenge and madden